Hi there. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Twixter in Premiere Pro. Usually it's used in After Effects, but since I do practically all of my editing in Premiere Pro, then I prefer to just try and keep everything in here. Uh, so first let me go ahead and get a clip and then we can get started. Okay, so now we have a small, small little clip of me jumping off my van I did not get the full me but you know that doesn't matter for this so now what we do is we're first going to have to copy and paste this a couple times this is because Twixer in fact does not stretch out it does not uh, widen the clip and lengthen it it will just use up the rest of it so your clip will run short if you do not do this um, depending how many times you're going to like how slow you're gonna want to put this and you're gonna just have to estimate how many you're actually gonna have to do so we're gonna just uh, cl uh, right click and nest them then we're gonna go ahead and get our Twixer I'm just gonna use my preset and normally you would use Twixer or Twixer Pro whatever you've got uh, so just put that on there and so now all we have to do is find the spot where we want to Twixter and I'll say that I'll put it right there. Now, if you want this smooth or not, like the transition, like you can add keyframes in between, like I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, demonstrate that for you instead of just doing it how I usually do by cutting it one frame into the slow-mo. So uh, what you're gonna have to do is click the time frame on the speed and then I'll just bring it up a few frames and depending on how slow you want it just bring it down I'm gonna go really really slow on this two percent and so with that done it goes like that now that's gonna go for just not not too long but either way I'm going to just take another keyframe Wait, let me get back to here and I'll go one two three just to make it a more smooth transition back to 100 and there you go that's the like very basics of it and yeah, let me go ahead and render this out and I will show you how it looks okay now before I play this for you I just want to show you one little bit now you can see that it hardly takes up uh, any of this you know I overdid the copy and pasting so just one little tip is that if your clip runs longer like a decent amount after what you're wanting to Twixter then all you have to do is just leave it there and just let the um, Twixter just run it out but if it's just a small little bit and it ends off right after that you're gonna have to copy and paste it uh, anyways let's go ahead and play this and see how it looks let me skip ahead right here wait let me okay So there you go, it's lagging just a tad bit because I'm recording, but either way you can see that's just the very basics, just involves keyframes, I hope I didn't go too fast on that, uh, but I normally when I watch tutorials I like them when they're just super quick and to the point instead of going through every little move. Now if you do need help with the smaller things that I did, then just let me know if you want something more advanced, if you want to know my settings, then go ahead and let me know and I can make a video about it. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later, everyone.